So I use Premiere for more than 10 years now and I still stumble over handy features that improve my editing process and give me new creative possibilities. So let me show you 5 hidden features in Premiere Pro. Let's get started. So first, the TrackMap key. The TrackMap key is a very handy tool that allows you to transfer alpha or luma data from one clip to another clip. For example, this works great with our transitions that contain alpha data. Drag the effect onto your clip and assign it to the track where the alpha clip is lying at the same position. Set the track mat key to alpha and you have the alpha data transfer to your desired clip. Now your clip is transparent and you can create a transition. It works the same way with Luma data as well. For example, you can fill text with images. Second, the audio track effect. The audio track effect allows you to apply an audio effect to a certain track in the timeline. All audio clips on the track will be affected by the effect. So go to the audio track mixer panel and click on the small arrow on the upper left corner. Then you have different slots for each audio track where you can choose from a variety of effects. Choose an effect and then right click on the effect and go to edit to adjust the settings of the effect. I always have one or two reverb tracks in my timeline so I can easily apply reverb to sound effects or let my music end at specific points in the edit whenever I want. Third, a speed ramp hack with frame blending. There is a really easy way to apply something like a motion blur to speed ramps with just one click. When you change the speed of a clip, you can also change the time interpolation to frame blending and that will blend the frames of the clip into one another. This produces something that looks like motion blur or a low shutter effect. Very cool for speed ramp transitions. 4. HSL Mask Effect So this is something very special now and I had the idea of using this effect just recently. So first, apply a Lumetri color effect on your clip and then go to HSL Secondary. This area is actually intended for editing specific colors individually. However, if you select a color here and set it to show mask and for example white black, then the selected area of the image is shown in white. Now you can use keyframes to select a different color at a different time and a super interesting animation of the image is created. It often looks like a digital scan. Very cool effect if you want to have something similar to an invert effect but much more abstract. And finally, Ultra Key Transition Overlay. I sometimes use the Ultra Key effect to build a transition or to overlay images. When you have footage where a certain color is quite present, this can be very useful. For example, in one of our raffle promotions from last year, I used some screen capture of our website that has a lot of red in it. So this technique came very handy to build a nice transition to the next shot. So that's it. I hope these tips help you with your editing. What are your favorite hidden gems in Premiere Pro? Let us know in the comments. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.